Okay, the purpose of this little video is going to be to help explain, to give you a tutorial on what the meaning of absolute value is, and to show you how it's used in equations. I'm going to probably break up this uh, tutorial into a couple of different parts. I think in this first part, we're going to go over the definition of absolute value, and then I'm going to go over on how to graph an absolute value and what it looks like. And I think that might be enough for this first tutorial. And then I'll do another one where I'll have some example equations for you, and you can see how those work. Okay, so the question. Absolute values, first of all, what are they? Well, you probably recognize an absolute value as being some kind of a variable or equation or set of terms inside two lines that look like this. So let's say I want to say something like the absolute value, and you read this, the absolute value of x is 5. Okay, now what does that mean? Well, the absolute value, the definition for absolute value is the distance from 0. So one more time, the absolute value, the definition, The absolute value is the distance from zero. Value is the distance from zero on a number line. Now, let's go back to our example and see what that would mean. According to this, my absolute value is five. So here's my number line and here's my zero. So let's move out five from zero, five units. One, two, three, four, five. So the absolute value is five units away. But you'll notice that there's another point on the number line that's also five units away from zero. One, two, three, four, five. And that number is negative five. So the way you write this, the absolute value of x is 5, is that x is equal to 5 and negative 5. And that would be my answer. Okay? Now that's how you graph it on this particular, uh, on this particular line. Okay? Now, how do we do that if we've got like an x and a y, let's say. Okay, so let me give you another example. Let's say I have the equation. Well, actually, you know what? I'm going to do that on a second one. So I think I'll just leave it that, that for now. Uh, just remember what the definition is and remember what the graph is on a number line. We're also going to have equations where we're going to graph it on the x and y axis, and I'll show you what that looks like in the next tutorial. Okay, I hope that helped, and stay tuned for the next one.